everyone, I am back with a new story today. And today's story is about a hen. But she's no ordinary hen. She's very different from any other hen that you've ever seen. You know what makes her different? But uh, before we go on to the story, I wanted to ask you, have you subscribed to the channel yet? Well, if you haven't, please go ahead and press the subscribe button. And don't forget to press the bell icon next to it. Because when you do so, you will be the first one to know when I post my next story. Isn't that cool? So please go ahead and do it. And then let's find out what is so special about our hen today. Once upon a time, there lived a hen in a small little farm. Now this hen wasn't like any ordinary hen, like I already told you. She was very different from all the other hens, or at least she looked very different. And she was called Rangili. Well, Rangili is an odd name for a hen, wouldn't you think so? Because Rangili in Hindi means colourful. And our hen was colourful indeed. She had all the colours on her body that you can possibly imagine. And that's why she was absolutely different from all the other hens. She was colourful and pretty and that's why she was pampered by everyone. And so she spent all her day either looking for food or eating for food. And that's what made her nice and fat. Now one day as usual, Rangili was pecking around here, pecking around there, looking for food. Just when a fox from the forest close by came out looking for food and he spotted Rangili. Well, Rangili paid, paid no attention to the fox. She was busy pecking at a piece of corn. But the fox was very excited. He had never seen a hen like that. She was nice and fat and juicy. Much to the fox's delight. And the fox thought, Hmm, that looks like a juicy piece of chicken. I can't wait to grab her and eat her. But I must first go back to my wife and tell her to put a pot of water to boil. I can't wait to eat that juicy piece of chicken. And so he rushed back to his house to tell his wife about the catch that he was going to make and ask his wife to put a pot of water to boil. The wife was very excited as well. She was as greedy as the fox himself. And then the fox came running back to make sure that Rangili had no idea what was going on. And very softly and gently, making very sure that Rangili was not noticing that the fox was right behind her, he bounced at Rangili and grabbed her and put her in a sack that he was carrying. Very pleased with himself, he put the sack on his shoulder and he was walking. But Rangili was screaming. Because she was inside the sack, nobody could hear the poor bird screaming and yelling for help. She was fighting and kicking. But the fox was having too much fun. He started walking back home, barely able to wait to eat his yummy dinner. And as he was walking, he thought nobody had really seen all of this. Nobody was around. Except he hadn't seen somebody who was on the treetop right where all of this was happening. It was the dove. The dove happened to be a very close friend of Rangili. And she was watching all that was happening. And she felt very, very sad that her friend was in trouble and she couldn't do anything to help. What could she do? A tiny little bird in front of that fox. But she thought she really had to think something and quick. And so the dove thought and she had an idea. She thought the fox was a very greedy animal. What if? And so she pretended that she had a broken wing. She flew down very gently from the tree and she started hopping. 
pretending as though she could not fly. And she made sure that the fox sees her. And so the fox did. The fox, who was very pleased with himself and was merrily walking back home, spotted the dove who was trying to hop. The dove pretended not to see the fox. And the fox in his mind was thinking, Oh, what a lucky day for me. I have a juicy chicken in the sack and now this juicy dove. Mm, my wife is going to be very surprised and excited. I must go and grab that dove as well. And so, that's what he did. The fox left the sack right there and he went very slowly and gently. He went behind the dove and as he was about to grab the dove, the dove gently flew its wings and flew far away. Well, the fox was shocked looking at the dove who had just made a fool out of him. And so trembling with anger, he went straight back to the sack and he picked up the sack. What he did not realize that in his greed, he had forgotten to tie up the sack. And while he was gone chasing after the dove, Rangili had managed to sneak out of the sack and instead of her, she had put some stones inside the sack so that the fox does not know. The fox went straight to the sack. He picked up the sack angrily and he walked back home. At least I have the chicken. And so as he went home, his wife was very excited to see him and thinking about all oh, that juicy, yummy chicken dinner that they were going to have, the fox didn't care. He did not even look inside the sack. He opened the sack and the water was bubbling. He dipped the sack inside the bubbling water and the big piece of stone tumbled out and went straight into the water. There was a big splash. The hot water went flying out and burned the fox and his wife's paws. And that taught them a good lesson, not to be greedy again.